Okay, so real quick instructions on how to make uh, my homemade salmon patties. I started in the bowl with a dollop of mayonnaise, about a tablespoon, and about a tablespoon of spinach and herb uh, dip mix. And I'm going to take a can of the pink salmon uh, and mush that into the bowl with the other items. You may want to rinse or drain your salmon so that it's not too wet. And then I take about a half of a diced onion. And I'll show you the size of that onion in a sec. About a cup of um, breadcrumbs. About, I'm sorry, that was a half a cup and a quarter cup of panko crumbs. And I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. Now I have an egg allergy, so normally when I make this, I will use an egg replacer to kind of give it a binding, or I'll go without, and then our salmon patties are a little more crumbly than normal, but today I'm going to use an egg. So I'll go ahead and crack that puppy in here. And then, I'm also going to add some garlic garlic, and I, I'm not really a measurer, and I have our garlic garlic in a grinder because I like it a little finer in recipes like this. So I'm gonna guess this is about, oh, half a tablespoon, teaspoon and a half, something like that, throw that in there. And then when I'm all done, right before I put it on in a hot frying pan with about two tablespoons of oil, either uh, regular olive oil or our roasted garlic infused oil, which is fabulous, um, I will sprinkle just a little bit of seasoning salt. So that is all I have to do to mix the salmon patty ingredients. I know they don't look very delicious yet. And then while that is cooking, I also put together a spinach and herb dip mix, only I use uh, two tablespoons of spinach and herb, about a tablespoon of mayonnaise, about a half of a diced onion again, and then about a cup of sour cream. I'm not a measurer, so I've kind of had to figure out my measurements for you all today. And then about a tablespoon or so of milk, because you want this a little thinner. Maybe a tablespoon and a half of milk. And about, oh, I'm going to guess about a teaspoon or so of lemon juice in both the salmon patty mix and in the spinach and herb mix. Uh, dressing that I'm making. And then I will show you all of this at the very end after I've baked or cooked it so that you can see how fabulous and delicious this meal is.